The recruitment exercise for the Umbut for Swaziland Defence Force is going as smooth and this was revealed by Colonel Amadota Mkachwa. We have a report. The recruitment exercise for the Umbut for Swaziland Defence Force began on the 30th of January and is expected to end on the 7th of February. Aspiring soldiers came out in their numbers to try their luck in all the 55 constituencies in the kingdom. According to Lieutenant Colonel Madodam Kacho, who is the public relations officer for the Umbut for Swaziland Defence Force, so far the exercise is running smoothly. Uh, so far the process has been going well and uh, it's now in its final stages. Uh, what we are looking for as a defense force are two candidates from each constituency, uh, mainly being uh, and, uh, Ingacha, uh, which is uh, an, an unmarried young man, if I may put it like that, as well as an Imbali, uh, which is an unmarried uh, young woman, uh, more so one who, who doesn't have a a child. So uh, we, are, we are taking two candidates uh, from each uh, constituency. Uh, further than that, one ca candidate will be sourced from each of the chiefdoms, uh, from the chief. Mkatra says they are very grateful to see the incredible turnout of Swazis who are eager to join the Umbud for Swaziland Defence Force even though they are looking for a certain number of people. Some of the aspiring soldiers had this to say. So, So long at all, my girl, I'm feeling so good. I'm feeling so strong. For now, we're going to live for them. We're going to go in 2022. Now, we're going to go to the next level. Unemployment is a challenge the world over, hence the decision by the government of the Kingdom of Swaziland to encourage all Swazis, especially the youth, to venture into businesses. The country has the regional development fund that is meant to help Swazis start businesses. Reporting for Swazi TV News, I'm Zodwa Lamini in Babane.